Welcome to Bluegrass Home and Garden TV. Bluegrass Home and Garden TV is brought to you by Jimmy Nash Homes, Comfort Heating and Air, Springhouse Gardens, Back Construction, Ginger's Hearth Patio and Grill, Buyer's Paradise Furniture, and by the studio. Join us now for Bluegrass Home and Garden TV with Amber Canoy. Hey, we're picking up where we left off last time. Hopefully you joined us for that show. If not, you can catch us out at bluegrasshg.tv and see everything we talked about last time, Rachel. We're over by Ginger's Hearth and Home at the Outdoor Living by Design Center. Rachel Duggins with h 2 Designs. Last time we talked about aeration, adding plants to your water to really help just the pond in general, but the fish and everything during the dead heat of the right. summer. Now, a lot of people are, I think, coming to you probably saying they have leaks in their ponds when it's maybe just Mother Nature Evaporation. Evaporation, exactly. Yes. Uh, you'd be surprised, especially if you have a waterfall in a stream, how much water you can actually lose, especially when it gets really hot. Really? I would August. think the exact opposite, that the fact that the water is constantly moving, that that would actually help with the vacuum. You know, it helps the pond, so it's a good thing, um, but it actually causes you lose more water with splash. It gets out on the rocks, it evaporates from the rocks, so you don't realize exactly how much you're losing. Uh, from your pond, so a lot of times you'll think, well, it's got to be leaking, but you could be putting potentially up to at least an inch or more in your pond at a time in the in the summer months. Wow. All right. Well, I know in the spring they were probably having flooding issues with some of their ponds. Right. But now with as hot as it is, they're probably definitely having a problem where, you know, evaporation's coming in. And how do they know when it's time to add water? I mean, should they be measuring, I mean, actually with a yardstick or something? No, you don't need to. You'll you'll know. You'll see your water um, your water level decrease. A lot of people have a skimmer or some other type of application that the that the pump goes into, and the pump will either start making a noise, um, so you know that it's time to add water, or you'll see that the the water's not skimming as well as it was at one time. So people know at that point to add water to the pond. Now, for someone who doesn't have a water feature such as this, <laughs> but wants something maybe on in their backyard. What's a really easy, quick way for them to be able to kind of take a little bit of this scenario, scale it down a little bit, and enjoy it in the summer? We have a product called a, a patio pond. It's just a small bowl that could sit on a patio deck, um, and it's a way that you can put the plants in there and have plants, and you can actually put a couple of small fish, goldfish type fish. So you in would it. not recommend koi? Not for that type of application. They get rather large, and uh, these applications have to be drained in the winter, so you have to have something either an aquarium or a a place that you can take the fish once that you're you're done for the season with the with the patio pond. Now, aeration is the, the, I would think that the plants would pretty much solve the, everything in those. Right, in those type of applications, you can add a small pump to them and have some bubble or some spray coming up if you wanted to. That, that sounds sometimes is almost what we like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can ha have that. Um, but with those, the plants provide what oxygen the fish need, and with those applications, you can really only have two or three fish at a time, so you're not. That's not a real issue. Does the water ever get too hot? Um, it can get warm, but that just produces more plant. Um, the plants take off in that application, and you have evaporation in those also, so you're adding cooler water to keep the temperature cooler. Um, most of those are covered pretty uh, heavily, so that helps keep the water temperature down for the all fish. Right. Well, that's all the time we have, Rachel, unfortunately. If people have questions for you, how can they get a hold of you? They can call us at 888-297-6637, or they can uh, visit our website at h2odesignsinc.com.